Hello. Yes, I have new bookshelves. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. We'll get there. Today is exciting for other reasons. I have just arrived back in LA after a long quarantine. I'm fully vaccinated and today I am going to hit up some indie bookstores in LA and take you book shopping with me. I have some favorite LA bookstores and I have some that I want to check out. I did a Chicago version of this video a few years ago and it was so much fun so I wanted to bring you guys along with me. I can't wait to do this and I'm really excited about it because an author I absolutely adore, Gail Foreman, has a brand new book out. It's called We Are Inevitable and it's about a recent high school grad who works to save his family's indie bookstore in his small town. I'm a huge Gail Foreman fan from If I Stay to I Was Here. Her books are packed with emotion and depth and I've been craving like a small town YA and I love that this is also a post-grad book. That time in your life is just tricky and a YA book set in an indie bookstore like can't go wrong for me. Link will be in the description where you can find out more about We Are Inevitable by Gail Foreman, and thank you so much to Penguin Teen for sponsoring this video. And I can't wait to take you out to bookstore shopping. We're also going to be doing a little bit of time traveling in this video because I started to gather some footage during some book shopping outings just before COVID in actually late 2019. So I'm going to be looping in some of my old self and like previous outings into this video as I go around. It's gonna be so weird to be back out book shopping. If you ever decide to go book shopping anytime soon, please take precautions, follow the guidelines, wear your mask inside. Without further ado, our journey begins. Book soup in West Hollywood. I just drove over here and parked in their lot in the back. Book soup is definitely a staple when it comes to LA bookstores. It definitely has a special place in my heart. I have spent so many Sunday afternoons here and I miss it so much. They host really intimate events here. I saw Stephen Chbosky speak here and that's when he brought out Emma Watson. It's also kind of tight quarters, so I don't think I'm gonna be talking to the camera that much, but you've probably heard of book soup lately because they have been offering personalized signed editions of certain new releases like I know Adam Silvera and and Christine for better together they've partnered with book soup it always makes me really happy to see because it's like helping keep bookstores like this in business and um, a cool way to adapt so without further ado let's go why am I nervous I'm so nervous This area right here is dead ass where they used to put chairs for events. This tiny little section. And then right here is where they would have the authors and the speakers. Social anxiety update. I had a really good time at Book Zoo. I ended up buying John Green's new book, The Anthropocene Reviewed. It's a signed edition. And then I unexpectedly bought Pop Song by Larissa Pham. I've heard lots of good things about this one and the person who checked me out said they really love it. I had like an unexpected seven minute conversation with um, an employee there, which was just like a thing I haven't done in so long. And it's just weird to be like meeting someone new and talking to each other with masks on. We introduced ourselves by the end, like we were just hitting it off and we talked about John Green and looking for Alaska. And then we were talking about JD Pico and My Sister's Keeper and then movies. It was just like really pleasant and you forget what a social interaction like that feels like. So I'm like kind of shook from it honestly, this perfectly normal interaction. And then I went and got coffee across the street at one of my favorite places called Dialogue. The place I'm going next is a bookstore cafe. 
So I wouldn't put it past myself to get another coffee there after this 25 minute drive. Book soup was a success. This is off to a good start. So next up is Village Well, and we are driving to Culver City. So here we go. <laughs> Village Well was so cute. Oh my God, it's like smaller, it's family friendly. There's a cafe in there, like you can tell that area where there would be tables and like you could just chill. The selection is not expansive. I did not see very much YA at all. It's, it's kid forward, which is great. I ended up buying my best friend's exorcism because a friend has recommended this to me. I, kinda, I felt like I had to buy something. It got busier as I was in there. Um, so I was lucky to like not enter right now because then I would have been overwhelmed. <laughs> very cute in there. Very mom and pop feel. Good place to like probably go on a Sunday afternoon date, which many people in there were, including myself with myself. And I'm ending this section with two iced coffees. Book shopping while gay. Now's the time in the video where we are going to cut to 2019 Tiernan. This is like fall so the next bookstore we're going to is called the ripped bodice and i haven't been there in a while please keep in mind that all the footage that we're about to see is pre-covid wear your goddamn masks in the bookstores this is gonna feel weird we are going to pre-covid footage now get ready <laughs> with some special guests suddenly i'm here with it's me Jenna, all the way from nashville and we were recently recommended um this bookstore, The Ripped Bodice, which is um, a romantic bookstore, all pride, no prejudice. Um, supposedly, they are very proud of having red, white, and royal blue. So we're gonna we're gonna investigate yeah. that here. spotted her. <laughs> A ripped bodice must read. That bookstore was the highlight of my autumn. It was great. That Did was... you just say autumn? Yeah. <laughs> it's like day one of autumn. <laughs> Next up, I had to check out Vromans in Pasadena. This is a bookstore that was recommended to me by someone I work with. It is so like sleek. I went in the fall of 2019 pre-COVID, so everything you're seeing is before then.
To finish off our LA bookstore journey, I wanted to take you and my friend Christina, who is visiting pre-COVID, to Skylight Books and also The Last Bookstore, which you will recognize as a total indie bookstore LA staple. Let's do this. Like another version of this store right I next know. to it. How did he explain it? That's what it like, was to call it like oh. the annex. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for joining me exploring LA bookstores. So many favorites of mine in this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite indie bookstore is. Is there one near you? My name is Tiernan. Thank you so much for watching. Links to everything will be in the description and have a good one. Goodbye.